Hi, everybody. Welcome to UQ Math 2504, Programming of Simulation, Analysis, and Learning Systems, Semester 2, 2022. My name is Yoni Nazarathi. I'm the course coordinator. If you're watching this, then probably like me, you are starting the course in just under two weeks. At least this video was made just under two weeks prior to the start of semester. Uh, so yeah, we're soon starting. Well, this is a course website here. Um, you can get to this URL, just look at it, uh, or just Google Math 2504 and find the course website. Google will help you get there. And in the course website, you'll see our teaching staff. You'll see the fact that um, the bulk of the teaching is done by Paul and Andy, both of which are actually industry professionals. There's also teaching by another Paul, Paul Verbeek. He's also professional, but university professional. And then there's a bit of me. And we also have great guest lecturers, Anna, Maytha, and Amy, also working in industry. So industry, industry, industry. Out of this course, you'll actually learn quite a lot about what's done in industry to a level. And it might help you uh, find out what you want to do in life, or maybe what you don't want to do in life. Well, that's up to you. Uh, speaking about that, the course uses the Julia language. Uh, so look at the Julia language. A good chance is that you have not used the Julia language before. Maybe you have, but most of you have not. Uh, but you probably used either R or MATLAB or Python or just a bit of each. Um, Julia feels kind of like a mix of these languages uh, and it has a lot of nice things to offer. So we chose it as the language for the course. Uh, so you could look at the Julia language. Uh, you actually have last year's YouTube videos. Uh, well, last year's lecture on YouTube uh, already on the course website. So you can look at that if you'd like. And very importantly, you have here the study units. We have eight study units and the content is all online and you can have a peek and get a feel for what, uh, what are the types of things that we're doing in this course. That's all online, okay? Moving on to the course schedule. Um, here's a schedule. We've got three hours of lectures per week and a practical each week, each of the weeks. Uh, so that's a schedule. And of course I skipped the A word, the assessment. Well, so the assessment, there's a lot of assessment um, relative to a UQ course, but there is no final exam. So when you're looking at your trade-off of, uh, of risk versus effort, this course actually requires quite a lot of effort in terms of the time that you put into the assignments. But uh, since there's only one quiz and no final exam, in a sense, you have a bit less risk. Uh, it is a lot of work though. So uh, just be prepared for that. It's also front loaded in the sense that a lot of work comes in the first half of the course and it becomes a bit easier in the second half also because you're getting better and better at things. Um, you'll need to install Julia on your computer. There's a video here that describes how to do that. Uh, we might update this video or help you if needed. Um, but anyway, that's something that needs to be done. Now, when we looked last year at this course, what happened is that we had about 70 students. At the moment, there are about uh, just over 100 of you. Okay, so we started with 70, but about 10 or 15 had to drop out or decided to drop out. And I think that the, and that was of course in the first couple of weeks. And I think that the reason for that was that the steep learning curve uh, in terms of diving into programming was uh, a bit too difficult for some. Now, for some it wasn't and for some it was. And maybe you are one of those people that uh, might be in this group that is at the risk of dropping out of the course because it's just going to be suddenly all this code and computer code and commands and installing this and doing this and, and a whole bunch of things. Um, and if you are, that's fine. That's why we created the course. Uh, the course is here to uh, help you make that leap to become a programming literate, a programming literate mathematician. Okay, that is, that is the idea. So if you feel a bit, shaky about um, the next month or two of, of programming, what can you do at this point? Well, here are a few very basic tips. Now, this might not apply to everybody, but here are, here are the tips. So tip number one might seem very silly, but just do what I'm doing. Look, I'm, I'm looking down. What do I have done? I have my keyboard. So I'm looking at my keyboard. 
And I'm looking at every character in my keyboard and I'm saying, hmm, when and for what did I use that character? I mean, the letters I've used, the numbers I've used, I've used the, some of the other symbols. What are they called? What's a slash and what's a backslash? And what's a, what are those shift keys and control keys and option keys or command if you're on Mac? And what's a tick and a back tick and an underscore? I don't know, just look at it. That's it, probably simple. So let's move on. Next thing, go to the courses that you've done before. You've done probably at UQ Math 1051 or Math 1071 or Math 1052 or Math 1072 or STAT 1301 or Psi 1000 or God knows what, you've done some courses, okay? In some of those, there was some computer code. Go back to the assignments that you had. They might've been a pain back then, doesn't matter. And just look at them, look at them now. The neurons in your brain that dealt with that code and probably wanted to put those neurons to sleep, well, just reshake it up, just, just look at it. You've done some loops before, you've done some conditional statements before, you know, if, else, you've used variables, you've maybe defined the function, maybe you even did some recursion, I don't know. Look at what you've done before, just to kind of remember. And finally, what you can do is you can already uh, preview the first couple of lectures because they're on YouTube. And the best thing that one can do in a lecture, and our lecturers will do this, they're, they're pros. So if you go here, for example, to unit one, first lecture, using random with the capital R, by the way, function, find, underscore, max, data, max, underscore, value, space, equals, space, negative, inf. Key that in. And as you key it in, just like that, ask yourself, what is it doing? Okay. So just like sometimes in a classical mathematics lecture, you can look at the board and actually write the things that are being written on the board. Uh, you can do the same with computer programming, okay? Don't just copy it, paste into your own editor, but actually key it in. Take your time and do that step by step, and it will all be okay. Well, anyway, very much looking to hear about you and see you in the course, and um, enjoy your July. Bye-bye.